loves welcome or welcome back to Odis. we will be sewing a swimsuit in this tutorial and if you haven't watched the drafting process i'll put a link in the description box please keep on watching and let's get right into this video for this i'll make use of this black material called lycra and i also have all my patterns here now this material stretches at one side really well and then doesn't really stretch at one other side i'll fold this material using the selvage which also means that the patterns will be placed on straight grain okay i'll place my back pattern onto the fabric by folding the fabric into two okay so we can have both parts of the back i'll go ahead and pin and because this material is stretchy we are not going to add allowance to the side but i'm not really sure about the length of the shorts so i'll increase it and if anything i'll cut it off all right so i'll go ahead and increase by about one inch So there will be no side seam allowance but we will add half inch to the inner tie as well as the center back including the crotch area and this will serve as zip allowance or zip extension. I'll then cut this out. I also notch the waist and the hip line. Moving on to the front, I'll place the front on fold. Since this will be joined to the short, I'll add half inch to the waist which will serve as joining allowance. This I'll cut out. I'll then fold the material into two and I'll place the short pin add allowance to the waist of the short the inner tie as well as the crotch area i want to attach facing to the neckline so i have the front placed on another material and i'll trace out the neckline the width of the shoulder will be around two inches the depth has to be the same but i'll be adding a design around the center front so i only want the facing to be longer or to be showing right so i made it one and half i'll then connect all these points together same process for the back the shoulder width has to be the same so two inches and the depth of the center back also depends on you for this i wanted it deeper so I came down by two and a half inches from the center back of the neck and connected all of these together. I'll cut both facings out and fuse them with interfacing. I 
I tried the short on and the length seems to be okay so I'll trim off what I added Moving on with right sides facing, I'll pin this crotch line together and sew with half inch. This is how it looks like. Next, I'll notch the center front and match this to the center seam line of the shorts. I will then pin and stitch with half inch. This is how it looks and I have pressed all the seams open. For the design we have at the front, I will come down from my shoulder by 6 inches. This is an assumed shape so you might want to follow and depict or you can decide to do any style of your choice okay this is what it looks like and you might want to also direct the pointed edge to the shoulder okay so you can extend the design it is better to do the design small so after sewing it can become big okay so i'll cut round but not exactly on the line i've made okay i'll cut away from it and the excess i've left will be the sewing allowance so that means that while sewing i wouldn't sew beyond the line i've marked i wish i had fused interfacing before cutting but all the same after cutting i'll go ahead and iron interfacing and also cut out the interfacing so this is the design and i was like mm, why not add another fabric beneath the shape to give it a different um look okay so this is white and this is how it looks with white yeah i also tried using lemon green which was also nice so when you have something like this you can just fold in the edge of the shape okay you fold in the edge and you top stitch so as you fold the edge in pin it down or just press it after all of this it dawned on me that i would not be able to wear this swimsuit with other outfits if i design it this way so i changed my mind but you can also do it okay all right so i decided to use bias and at each end or corner i notched okay i'll pin the bias together with the edge Where the ends of the bias meet, I'll pin them together and stitch. So I'll do this and afterwards, I'll sew the edges together, notch, under stitch, turn and top stitch. Okay? I've gone ahead to do that and it opened up more and it was also gaping. So I had to hold each and that's the corners like a dart so it doesn't gap. guys i did a lot of alteration to the ends to keep them in place you know <laughs> i held it i saw i saw this part like two or three times but i'm just saying it so that you know that you are going to do it okay but if you are busty you wouldn't hold much like i did okay so that is what i'm doing currently i just held it that i'll move on to pinning the shoulders of the front together with the back i 
after this i'll sew with half inch allowance right now the next thing is to also join the sides i'll go ahead and pin them together noting the notches i mean making sure the notches match i'm supposed to say this at the beginning of the video but i'm sorry okay if you are using a material that is less stretchy or not stretchy at all then you would have to add allowance to the side okay so after pinning all of this together i will just join with half inch i also went ahead to add interfacing to the center back yeah so this is how it looks after sewing the sides the shoulder and i had planned to add a cap sleeve but your girl changed her mind again trust me this is due to insufficient material okay so i folded and tried to reduce the armhole together with the shoulder a little bit by one inch to have a kind of sleeveless swimsuit okay so if you want to add sleeve that means that you would rather add half inch around the armhole to be able to join it to the sleeve okay next i'll join the shoulders of the facing with half inch instead of using facing you might also want to use bias okay so i'll sew that and i'll find the midpoint of the neckline like this and also do the same for the facing i'll match both notches together match the shoulder seams together as well pin all of these together stitch with half inch i'll then snip trim off excess and finally under stitch okay after doing this i'll join the crotch area and since i've already notched the waist of the center back i will come down from the waist by about eight inches so here i'm folding and i'll locate the waist come down by eight inches then i'll sew the rest of the crotch together I've gone ahead to do all of that and at the edge of the facing I use my zigzag stitch to knitten it okay now the next thing is to join the inner crotches together and I'll meet both seams of the crotch like this pin them together and then pin the rest of the inner crotch right so I'll sew with half inch and also hem the lower part of the shorts. I moved on to fix my invisible zip. After fixing the zip, this is how it looks. To knitting the edge of the facing, I'll fold the facing backwards like this by pushing out the edge of the zip if that makes sense so i'll fold the facing like this right and stitch close to the zip so i'll trim off excess and turn inside out and you should have something like this to prevent the facing from flipping i'll join these two together that's the shoulder of the facing and the main shoulder together and i'm going to tack the facing on the main shoulder allowance that's the half inch allowance so i'll tack it down but it wouldn't show outside 
I'll use bias to finish the armhole. In all, I love how it turned out. It feels so comfortable. I just pray I will not abuse this swimsuit with this skirt. We will now have an Instagram page for this channel at olivesgh. So if you end up recreating your swimsuit, please share with us on that page. I hope you enjoy making this with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit on the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe. Also turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Let me know your thoughts and comments. I'll see you in the next one.